Hi everyone, Chris Penn here, Field Technical Consultant for Linux Industries. Today we're going to learn what friction rate is and how to calculate it as it applies to basic duct sizing. By no means am I here to change the way you currently size your ductwork, but I will show you how and where the friction rate number comes from and how to use it on the Linux Learning Solutions duct calculator. Before we get started though, it's important to know and realize that most HVAC equipment related issues are due to poorly designed duct systems. I'm also sure we can all attest to the fact that we have seen something like this out in the field at some point. When it comes to transitions and elbows, it's important to understand that there are some good ways and some bad ways of constructing and installing these. In addition to those elbows and transitions, it is also equally important to understand the equivalent length of straight duct as well as its fittings. So what does total equivalent length mean? Equivalent length is the lineal foot of ductwork plus the equivalent length of the fittings. So let's go over an example. So now that we know what total equivalent feet means, it's now time to start calculating all of the ductwork. We have to figure out both supply ducts as well as return air ducts for the total equivalent length. This is where the 415 feet comes from and it is here where most dealers get lost or simply choose not to calculate ductwork that they can't see. They get lost because it's not always feasible to calculate the equivalent length of ductwork in an existing house or retrofit application like it is for new construction projects working from a blueprint. And for these reasons, ductwork systems get overlooked. Now we're going to look at friction rate. Friction rate is the resistance to airflow or rate of pressure loss in a duct system. It is important to know that all devices installed in a duct system external to the equipment has a pressure drop. Cooling coils, pleated filters, grills and registers, as well as a hundred feet a section of ductwork. If you want to know where to find the pressure drop for various pieces of Linux equipment, simply go to linuxpros.com and search in the document library for the engineering handbooks. It is in these documents where you will find this information. Now we're going to look at friction rate formula. The actual friction rate equals the available static pressure or ASP times 100 divided by the total equivalent length or TEL. Since we have already calculated the total equivalent length, we now need to figure out what the available static will be for the formula. In order to determine available static, we must first determine our target by looking up what speed we need to use and at what external pressure for our given furnace. These performance numbers can be found in the installation or service manuals, which can also be found in Linux Pros in the document library. Once we have our target, now we need to determine the external static or pressure drop of the devices installed on the system, such as filters, coils chosen, as well as grills and registers. And as you can see from the formula, we subtract the pressure drop from the target to get our available static pressure or ASP. Now that we have figured out the available static pressure, we can now put into the formula along with the total equivalent length we already have calculated. And as you can see, it comes to a 0 0.06 friction rate. This is the number we are now going to use in our duct calculator for sizing metal duct and flex duct for both supply air and return air. Now that we have our friction rate number, let's go over and take a look at our duct calculator and practice finding the correct CFM numbers. So here we have the duct calculator that I use. As you can see here, this one was provided to us by Linux Learning Solutions. And what's unique about this duct calculator is not only does it have the friction rate for metal duct, it also has the friction rate listed here for flexible duct. Now, you may have a different calculator. You may have the rectangular one. There are several different kinds out there for you to use. Um, in fact, there's apps on cell phones to accomplish the same thing. Um, I also want to point out that we have our volume CFM right here in the middle. Now this calculator has some more things on here, including equivalent lengths. If you were to open this up, you get the equivalent lengths for fittings. But for the sake of today and, and today's exercise, we're just going to stick to the friction rate number here at the top and right here in the middle for flexible duct, as well as the round duct diameter section and the square and rectangular duct section. So first we're going to start here with the 6 inch duct. If we move this duct diameter calculator to 6 and we use the 0.06 number that we obtained earlier, we'll see on the metal side that it's somewhere around 85 CFM. Note at 0.08 it's somewhere around 100. Now the 100 CFM for metal is the number that we're mostly used to. And if we were to use 0.08 for flex, we'll, we'll see here that at 0.08 it's, it's 70 CFM. The number we obtained earlier today, we see that 0 0.06 is 60. So as a service guy, field guy, I use somewhere between 0 0.06 and 0 0.08. It'll get us somewhere close. And remember, the calculation we did earlier is for one specific duct job, and every single house is different. Now let's go to 10-inch round. 
or for that matter, let's go to a popular number, 14-inch round. And I say popular because we have a lot of 14-inch returns out there. You take out an R22 system, put in a 410A, and it's got a 14-inch duct. If we were to use a 0.6 or 0.06 or 0.08 number for 14-inch flex, we come up here to the friction rate number, and it's somewhere around 650 CFM. So obviously that's not enough for a 3-ton system. Okay. So this is how you use the round duct portion. Now we'll come over here to the square duct or rectangular portion. And let's line up a popular number, let's say 10 by 20. Square duct or rectangular is mostly metal. So we're going to come up here to the galvanized metal section to 0.06 or 0.08. And it's going to be somewhere between 1,000 and 1200 CFM. Okay. Hopefully you found this video tutorial helpful in understanding what friction rate is, how to calculate it, and more importantly, how to apply it using a Linux Learning Solutions Duct Calculator. Thank you and have a great day.